All right, well, there's, <laughs> they gave me this nice lamp post. I'm not sure what the heck this thing is. I guess they didn't really want to touch the snake, but we don't want to get the snake stuck in more of this. Can we hold this body? Yeah, hold that part. There's a little down here. Too. Yeah. All right. Put the lamp post aside. So what we're gonna do. Got some mineral oil. You can use flour, you can use cornstarch. That takes care of the stickiness as well. But I find mineral oil, you can even use olive oil, any type of oil. Just have to gently pull them off. You know, some of the scales will probably pull off, or the skin on top of the scales will pull off. But once you start pulling it off, you guys keep working that oil underneath it. Musking. Yes, he is musking. Okay. I was like, what does that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Rat snake musk smells like burnt rubber. It does. <laughs> it's a very unique smell. <laughs> I know. A lot of his body is sticky. I think that he had more of his body on the glue trap at some point. Don't know what kind of glue they use for this, but it should be banned. He's almost off. There we go. He's free. All right, I'm gonna let him go. He might swing around and bite you. Just let him go. Okay. <laughs> that was not a bad case. So tiny compared to our adults. Was a little sticky uh, there. Yeah, just stick a little all the way down. Put a little bit of oil on that. Well, here he is, beautiful little black rat snake. <laughs> so we're gonna clean him off even more and on my way home tonight, I'm gonna release him back in the area where he was found. So hopefully not too much trauma. Well, it was a pretty busy day at Riverside Reptiles, but now I'm headed home. Uh, it's about 6.30. And uh, we're gonna go release that rat snake that was brought in that was stuck to the glue trap, the uh, sticky mouse glue trap, whatever you wanna call them, those horrible contraptions. Uh, as soon as we got him off the trap, I washed him really good with uh, detergent and water um, to kind of make, he still had a little bit of residue on him, um, which he probably still does, but it'll come off in his neck shed. My goal is just to make it not sticky so when he's crawling through the leaves, he doesn't get stuck to them. Um, so we're going to my friend Christy's house. She actually lives right uh, near where this rat snake was found. And her backyard backs up uh, right to good, actually great rat snake habitat. 
Uh, so we're gonna go there now and we're gonna release them. All right, we just got to my friend's house. Got the snake. Let's walk back and release it. All right, we're in some pretty good habitat. That is uh, the talus slope back in there in the woods. And we have, uh, ooh, there's a spooky scarecrow. Let's see. There's a good place to let him go. There's a nice brush pile here. I think this is a pretty good place right here. All right. <laughs> Where is he? Here he is. He is ready to go. So this is a... Uh, Eastern rat snake, or as I like to call them still, black rat snakes. He's about three years old. Around their third birthday, they start turning black. When they're born, they are um, kind of a brownish gray with dark brown or black saddles going across their back. Um, you can kind of faintly make out some of the saddles on his back. Right there. All right, well, let's let him go and see what he does. There you go, buddy. There he goes. He's heading up to the ridge. You can barely make him out in there. Guy. Good luck. Stay away from mousetraps.